Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the North Face router, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. So the first thing to note about this bag is it kind of looks like an everyday carry bag, like a lot like other North Face bags. It's kind of been playing mind tricks on me and some other team members because it looks like an everyday carry bag, but it's got the size of a travel bag. So if you're looking for something that has a bit of a streamlined look and not like a big box on your back, this could be a good pick. All right, on the external components, we've got a nice handle here. This is pretty unique to this bag. If I hold it here, you can just see how that looks. I dig it, it's a little bit different. It's nice to have that in, as an additional option to the top handle uh, right here if you just wanna grab it from another area. Some bags will have it on the sides as well, but I like the placement on this, plus it provides a pretty cool look. All right, and then we have two water bottle pockets on each side. Um, not the greatest at gripping in. You can see I've got my hydro flask here and that comes out <laughs> relatively easily. So. Some of the times I'll just like, you know, with this top part, I'll kind of carabiner it either onto this side loop here, which is reflective, or I'll figure out a way to weave it through this compression strap. You can't really clip it through, so you do need a carabiner clip if you want to put that in, but you can also compress it down on the top really tightly, and that'll help prevent it from popping out as well. So just note that. Uh, these water bottles pockets are pretty big. Uh, Eric, our staff writer, brought up an interesting point, like why are these tarpaulin? I don't know, maybe it helps with the weather resistance. Um, I don't know, it's got a rubbery tarpaulin feel to it. Maybe it just goes on with the look of the rest of the bag because you have the reinforced tarpaulin down here at the bottom. You've got a stretchy mesh material here and then an elastic loop here to hold the water bottle in. If you have like a Nalgene, it's gonna hold it in there. My Hydro Flask doesn't really hold in at all. And yeah, there's not a ton else going on on the outside of the bag. Another thing I wanted to talk about was just the compression strap. So you can really compress this thing down and make it look like an everyday carry pack, especially if it's more on the empty side. So let me pull this down, pull this down. I've got some elastic keepers here as well to, to uh, feed in the excess strap if we want to. But when that's really pulled down, you can get an even slimmer look to the bag, which I dig. And it's again, it's closer to an everyday carry bag, um, closer to another ordinary North Face bag. The water bottle pockets kind of like go out a little bit, but you can really get this thing down, which is great for daily carry when you get to your destination. All right, so we have the harness system. I really like that the straps don't directly attach to the bag. Up on the top here, there's kind of some of this nylon material. And I really find that I like bags that do that. They kind of give you a little bit more mobility if you have a broader chest. I really, really dig that. I like that flexibility. It seems to work with people with more narrow chests too. It's just more flexible than if these are directly sewn on the pack, it's a little bit tougher. Same reflective loops here that we saw on the sides. Um, you can attach things to it, it's great for visibility. Sternum strap is on a rail. This is my favorite design for a sternum strap. You can really dial it in, get it exactly to how you want it. And there's a whistle on the sternum strap here, so you can blow it if you're in distress or you need help or something like that. Pretty standard adjusters down here at the bottom too, but there are no elastic loops to hold that excess strap in place. And we've got a bit of a waist strap here, which you know, I kind of wish had a little bit more support, but it does hold the bag in place. And then North Face's flex vent back panel, which you can see on a lot of their other bags, ends up working pretty well. There's quite a bit of organization and secondary pockets on this thing, so let's start with the front pocket here. I actually really enjoyed um, putting my socks and underwear inside of these. So I had socks on this side, underwear on this side, and I liked that I could just keep them separated. At one point, I think I moved it over to like dirty on this side and clean on this side. But it was nice to like not have a packing cube because typically you have like a smaller brick and it's like brick-like, you really compress it down. This I was able to kind of spread it a little bit more out of the front of the, on the, 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 front of the bag. One thing to notice here though is that a lot of the, uh, based on these mesh little pockets here, a lot of this was more towards the bottom. So this top portion can just become wasted space. So if you have something in there that's like flatter or taller, that could be a little bit better for this pocket. Of course, YKK zippers, which is great. Um, number five, which is you know all you need for this front pocket. But I like this little this little front area. It was nice. And then we've got this 
small little corner here, which hides the zipper and helps with the clean look. And then also helps block water from getting inside of the small space that might be left open uh, when you can't get the zipper right up to the very edge because there's a seam there. Uh, next pocket up here, I'm just gonna loosen this up a little bit. Next pocket is up here at the top. So I have mixed feelings on this pocket. It's a bit softer. You can see that I just have my phone in here right now. It's got this like soft fleecy feel to it, which I dig. Um, but I, the way this pocket is oriented, like a lot of the leader space is up here at the top. So it's, you know, kind of weird to like, if you have this vertically and you want to stick something in here, it's kind of weird to like, kind of put it up there and then zip it closed. The pocket isn't going down. So it's best utilized when the bag is like this, which may or may not be convenient while you're traveling. So that's something to note there. But if you have like sunglasses or phone or anything that requires a bit of like a softer material, that can work really well. And again, we got this like mega piece of fabric here that's, that's uh, helping with this zipper. And uh, we've got just a fabric welt up here at the top, which covers up the zipper coil, which again, provides a nice clean look. Now opening it up to the admin panel. I think there's a, you know, there's a lot going on here. Some might even argue that it's kind of overkill. So down here at the bottom, I've just got two little slots here. These are mesh, some AG1, and then a um, little Tom Bin pouch. Tom Bin pouch on this side as well. Two mesh pockets. You have a little tab here to kind of, you know, pull these up if you want as well. So you have some di division there. Um, again, again, like another felt pocket here. So if you wanted to stick like glasses in there or a small like phone, you could totally put that there. And then you have two liner pockets on this side, which is good for like pen, pencil, stylus. I found these to be a little bit weirdly sized. Like, I guess I could put my Tom Bin um, pouches in here, but they don't quite go down. Oh, there we go. You kind of force them down on the way to get them out of the way, this zipper. Um, but I found that size just to be like a, a little bit odd um, to, to try to utilize because they're so tight as well. I can't even get this one in on this side that well. Um, they're kind of like too like like small for like a gear like any piece of gear but they're a little bit too uh big for like pen pencil stylus so i found that to be a little bit odd but i did like this pocket on this side the pretty standard admin panel here that we've seen a lot of bags we got a zippered pocket here i've got an air tag down here just to you know keep track of the bag phone wallet keys inside of here as well for relatively quick access there's a kind of uh, hat back here in the back too you've got this segment that goes down to right about here on the bag. So you've got a little space to put things down there. I really love the way that this was organized. I feel like it was just perfect for me and I really dig it. Moving along to the main compartment of the bag, let's start with the laptop pocket right here in the back. So if we zip that down, it's like a horseshoe opening. You got some fabric on the side here that, that holds it together. I've got my M2 big boy laptop in here that's 16 inches so that fits down there relatively well there's a pretty good false bottom on this bag as well so um, could be maybe a little bit better but my finger's stopping right about here the back panel here there's like enough structure too to where it's you know the, the false bottom works well no matter if this bag is like packed full or not so if you do really clamp it down and go into edc mode that's just something to note and then i've just got this front pocket here where a tablet is up on the front, just like kind of an iPad there to show you the space. And then there is, so it's like laptop there, front pocket for tablet here. And then if you have like documents or other items, you can pop them in here. And uh, these go all the way down to the bottom as well, which is nice. There's like a little hole down here at the bottom too. Not really exactly sure what that's for. Uh, maybe like a drainage hole, if something gets inside. I don't know. Um, and then let's open up the main compartment here. Well, there's a little North Face thing. If you want to pause and read that, I'll let you do that. All right, and then we're opening this up. Main compartment here, I've just got like packing cubes on the inside, which I'll pull out and pop on over to the side here, just to show you kind of what I've been able to fit in there. And this pocket is really no frills. This is gonna be a pretty short section, not a ton going on, but I do want to show you what this bag looks like compressed. So I will do that for you real quick. Um, yeah, just basically like an, pretty empty space. You can see there with the socks and underwear, it's kind of like cutting into this space, but I was able to get all those packing cubes in there. And uh, this really is just ideal for packing cubes. Like for one reason, it doesn't open all the way. So you don't have a lot of room to like organize gear within here. And then another reason there's just no pockets or additional organization in here. So this is the perfect candidate 
for either like a giant packing cube if you if you like that or a couple small ones like I had fit inside. And then just for kicks, let's go ahead and close this now that it's pretty much empty. Laptops out, clothing's out. And I just wanna compress it down for you to show you how it looks and how it really slims down and has plays that kind of like Jedi mind trick on us by looking like an EDC bag. Especially down here at the bottom, this like really folds down and in. So if I pull this down, I mean, boom, like look how thin that thing can get. <laughs> and then I'm just like, is this just like a regular North Face bag? You know, it doesn't seem like it's 40 liters. So I do like that ability. Not a lot of travel backpacks have this capability. There are just a couple that really compress down and allow for streamlined everyday use. And I think if you're like a taller person, I mean, besides these kind of floppy water bottle pockets, but you could kind of flatten them out somehow if you folded this around a bit. But if you're like a, a taller person, you've got a wider frame, I think this can totally work as an EDC bag for you as well. If you take the time to compress it down, either when you get to your destination or just day to day when you're back at home. So there you have it, the North Face router. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.